Ariel Helwani post-fight at UFC 150 alongside Dennis Bermudez, who picked up a very big win here tonight. And Dennis, congratulations on the win. I know in the post-fight interview with Joe Rogan, you said you didn't remember the knee. It's been a few minutes since then. Is it starting to come back to you now? And, and how did you recover from, from such a big blow? The only reason I remember the knee is because I watched it on the big screen. <laughs> Joe was nice enough to replay it for me. Um, but, uh, you know, I just... I, I had a funny feeling I was gonna get hit with something, and and I did. Um, but it's fine, you know. I'm I'm not afraid of it, and I think that's that's some a lot of fighters' problem. You know? I mean, they come out and they're afraid to get hit. Go ahead, hit me. Why do you think I have this beard right now? I don't care what I look like when I get out of the ring. You know, this is that's what symbolizes this. I, obviously, if I look like a monster going in, go ahead, mutilate my face. I don't care. I'm gonna win, coming out. What are you trying to say about people with beards? I, mean, <laughs> I thought I thought it was a good look. <laughs> Mine's all nasty and. Whatever. Yours is bordering on terrorist level because right. it's kind of right. coming out. Yeah, there. yeah. So I was trying to be a terror in the ring tonight. <laughs> Very good segue there. I like that. Way, way to turn it around. So, so I'm wondering, why do you say that you had a feeling you were going to get hit? What, what, why is that something you're thinking about going into the fight? Um, you got me on that one. No, uh, I didn't have a feeling I was going to get hit, but I don't, like I said, I don't care. And I've been hit before. So go ahead. Hit me with a two by four. I, I don't care. You're going to need more than that to knock me out. What about Tommy? What, do you, what did you think of him going into the fight, and what do you think of his performance here tonight? Well, Tommy Hayden was a uh, – he's definitely a tough guy, you know. Um, he was undefeated prior to the UFC. You know, me and my team did some research. He didn't fight anybody. Mm. The only person he fought was in the UFC he lost to, you know, so I wasn't going to lose to him. The uh, standing guillotine choke, one of the best submissions in MMA. How did you set it up, and, and did you think that maybe the ref got in there a little late because it looked like he tapped a couple of times before he actually stepped in there? Um, he was tapping, but it was on the other side from the ref, and I wasn't going to you know, lose a submission because you know, I'll put him to sleep. If the ref doesn't stop it, then he's going to sit there asleep. I'm trying to win. Um, we sign papers before we go in that you know, what happens happens, and you know, um, but yeah, if if you're in front, if you're in your uh, referee's position in front of me, I'm grabbing your neck. I'm gonna break it off your shoulders. Without a doubt, this has to be your best performance in the UFC thus far. Better than the one I think in in May because you got an emphatic finish. You feeling confidence now? 145 coming off what happened in the the tough finale. Do you feel like you're finally on a roll here in the UFC? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we're we're getting the weight cut down to a science. Um, uh, my strength is getting is getting great. I've been working with my uh, strength and performance uh, trainer um, Rob Labiento. We've been working on my strength and explosiveness. Um, I've got a great group of guys. You know, my my strength coach is top notch. Um, Keith Trimble from Belmore Kickboxing. I've got Greg DePasquale. He's one of the top jiu-jitsu guys on Long Island. Um, I got NCAA champion Gregor Gillespie working on my wrestling. Even though my wrestling's already par, we're we're taking it to the next level. Um, I work with uh, also Ryan LaFlair. He's a southpaw for this fight, undefeated. He's up and coming uh, through Strike Force, and uh, we just have a great camp and a lot of good, great guys. By the way, what is going on on Long Island? You've got Chris Weidman doing great things, Costas Philippou. I mean, it's uh, you know Ally Quinta on Tough. You got John Vellante. What is going on over there? Is there something in the water? <laughs> um, I think what's happening is um, you know the sport is, is becoming more popular and. There's not rivalry, rivalries between the gyms. We all connect. We all spar against each other just so we're all getting the, the, the top, you know, partners, you know. For, so for me to work out with just Gregor Gillespie every day, how good am I going to get? You know, my, my trainer, takes, uh, Keith Trimble, takes me over to um, Sarah Longo's and we spar against those guys, you know. So it's not like a gym war, but we're all getting better. We're, you know, and then getting different looks. Finally, who do you want next? It doesn't matter who they give me. You know, I'm definitely looking to climb the ladder and uh, I'm coming for that belt. Whatever Congratulations it takes. on the big win. Fantastic performance. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you. Thank you.